Hello, this is uh, your host, Lego Body 86. Sorry, I'm sneezing. I just got back from work. <coughs> uh, get that out of the camera. Sorry, I had to get Dad's underwear out of camera. Anyway. Not that you would really know or care what is actually in camera. We are actually moving into our new house next week. Yay! But at the same time, it, it's just... Everything's being moved. In fact, I'd already moved all my games into the new house, but I had to record this pickups video in our old house. <laughs> so I had to move... Fourteen games and an action figure that came with one of my pre-orders in order to actually show you what I have recently picked up. Um, number one, I have the 502-in-1 cartridge for DS. I currently don't own every game on this cartridge, but... Eventually, I will with more and more retro game treasure boxes coming in the mail. Um, it only had two Pokemon games on it, of which those two I already do have, so I'm good there. Um, a lot of these games I probably won't play on this particular cartridge, as it is randomized which cartridge you get off of which. Uh, I apparently got the wrong one because I wanted the uh, the RPG one, whereas I got the racing album, which has a bunch of racing games, which y'all know that I don't like sports or racing games, but whatever, I don't care. Um, Bad North for the Switch, a limited game, uh, exclusive, limited run game exclusive. In fact, I've got another one of these coming in the mail because I accidentally ordered two, and I will be giving away that second copy of Bad North. Uh, Moro Chronicle H, it is a mature title, and you collect monster girls and various clothing power-ups for those monster girls in order. It's kind of like Pokemon, where you battle to recruit for your team, except for you have monster anime Ichi girls that you're basically catching by tickling or whatever. It's it's like a catching and dating simulator for what Pokemon would be if it was an adult game. I mean, it, let's just get that out there right there. And then I got the pre-order of the Origami King, which came with two pins, which will not be in this video, because I have... I left them in the car. Like a moron. <clears throat> but, uh, yes, those are the four Nintendo items that I have received. One of them is a multi-card. And now on to the PSN games that I have received or that I have purchased recently. Um, I got the Journey Collector's Edition with Flow, Journey, and Flower. And uh, mid three mini games that were never released prior to this combo pack. Um, I got Layer, which is an action-adventure RPG where you are a dragon rider and it's your job to protect the kingdom. I haven't gone too far into this one, as you can tell, uh, but from what I've played, it's fun. Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Dragon Ball Ultimate Tenkaichi. I actually do like Ultimate Tenkaichi a lot more than the trilogy. Uh, not gonna... Give me spoilers here. I'll do a review of it later on. Uh, Shadows of Mordor. 
I bought it and I have only tested it up to the start screen menu just to make sure the disc worked but uh, I can't wait to play this one it's it says online that it could be up to a 500 500 uh, hour playthrough depending on which route you go and so yeah that might have to be put on the back burner oh by the way the car the origami king uh pins these are them and the back and yeah it's uh thank my father for bringing it out of the car that we're sharing right now in order to get stuff done um, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection, Lego Dimensions, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which I did pre-order and pay off the pre-order, but never picked up day one because it's a release date. Nobody informed me that the release date changed multiple times. And then Jedi Fallen Order, which I did pre-order. I did pick up day one, and I got the Purge Stormtrooper figurine for uh, Jedi Fallen Order release day. Also, I have fully paid off and pre-ordered Star Wars Squadrons, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, um, let me grab my list of games, um, that I have, uh, pre-ordered, uh, because I believe that, so, I have pre-ordered Avengers, Cyberpunk 27, the 7, Star Wars Squadrons, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and Assassin's Creed Valhalla for this year. Um, and then from Limited Run Games, I've got Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl coming in the mail later on this year. Kunai, uh, Mercenary Wings, Mighty Switch Force, Nurse Love Obsession is already in the mail. Another mature title anime style game. Uh, Sinran Kagura Peach Ball. Singa Siren Kagura Reflections. Uh, Shantae in the Seventh Sirens Collector's Edition. And Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. YS Origin. Wizard of Legend. Vitamin Connection. And Thea the Awakening. Are all the Switch games that I pre-ordered for from limited run and then I also pre-ordered majority of these same limited run games from uh, <clears throat> from uh, limited run itself um, let's see here uh, outer worlds uh, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, uh, Shantae and the Seven Sirens, and the Wizard of Legend are the other ones that I will be receiving from Limited Run later on this year as well. Other than that, uh, those are all my gaming pickups uh, for now. Um... I haven't gotten any more games, so please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you. Lego Brat signing out.